I want to do something new today. So I had this memory of these things called Garbage Pail Kids. And if I remember right, they also took logos and made them kind of gross. So today I thought, whatever this filter lands on, we're going to make it into a gross logo. Okay, what's it going to be? <gasps> Lucky Charms. Not going to lie, this yellow is already a little gross looking, but you know what we have to do. We have to make it say Yucky Charms. Instead of this rainbow, I think I'll add maybe like a green goo, maybe put some holes in it here and there. Let's go. So I'm going to try to find like a drippy font. Ooh, that one should work good. I'm gonna type that out. I brought that into Procreate and I'm thinking for the rainbow part, I'm gonna kind of use this as a reference to add a green sludge. Now I'm gonna color it and add in all of the highlights and lowlights. I'm loving how this looks. Now I think it'd be cool to add like holes in the yellow, almost like it's like moldy cheese. Now I need to add in all the shadows for those as well. I'm gonna add little white dots, almost like mold is growing on it. Lastly, I wanna add a whole like green slime border to the whole thing and here's the final result. You just can't go wrong with a name like this. I really love how the final result turned out and I do think in the future I can take it even to a grosser level. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. Whichever logo this filter lands on, I'm gonna give it a gross redesign. Okay, what's it gonna be? Apple, okay, let's go. Okay, so I think what we're gonna have to do is change the name to Crapple, and then I'm gonna use the poop emoji to kind of make this look like a pile of crap. Okay, so using the emoji as a reference, I'm just gonna try to draw what it would look like if the whole logo was covered in a pile of poop. And for the leaf, I thought it would be gross if it looked like there was just like a little bit of poop smeared on the leaf itself. Okay, I like that general shape, but I do want to make it look like a realistic ugh, bite is taken out of it. Okay, now I'm going to color all of it in. Now taking the airbrush tool, I'm going to go in and add in a bunch of like highlights and lowlights to make it look more realistic. I want to add a little more texture to just like some of the lowlights just to kind of make it look a little more grungy. To take it a step farther, I do want to add some like ooh, white mold on it some places. Lastly, I want to add just a little bit of specks of green in there. Now I'm going to bring that into Photoshop and finally change this to say CRA and here's the final result. This one turned out exactly how I envisioned it, but so much grosser. Let me know what you think about this one and which other logos I should do in the comments. Whichever logo this filter lands on, I'm gonna give it a nasty redesign. Okay, what's it gonna be? <gasps> Starbucks. All right, let's do it. Okay, I know the name is not on the logo, but in my head, I'm gonna call this one Star Yucks. And I think what we have to do is make it look like she's like throwing up and maybe that it's like catching in the bottom of the circle. So using this emoji as a reference, I think I'm gonna make her mouth really big. Then with like a light pink color, we're gonna add, oh gosh, the throw up in there. Okay, here's what we're working with. Now I'm gonna go ahead and color it all in a little bit lighter. Now I'm gonna paint over her face and make it look more like <laughs> the emoji. I feel like she still looks a little too put together, so I'm thinking maybe we move the crown like it's like falling off her head. Then I think we need to add in some like frazzled hair just so it looks like she's like really a mess. Lastly, unfortunately, I think I'm gonna add oh, chunks into this. So I'm gonna add all those and here's the final result. I know the whole point of the series is to be gross and nasty, but did I really have to take it this far? I don't know. This one is one of the grossest ones yet. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. Whatever logo this filter lands on, I'm gonna give it a gross redesign. Okay, what's it gonna be? <sighs> Burger King, all right, let's go. Okay, I think for this one, I'm gonna name it Burger King. And I've actually done something very similar to this for a Halloween logo a long time ago, but I really wanna revamp it and make it so nasty. So I'm thinking we make this a nose with just snot pouring all over this. So I need to get rid of this U and type out OO in the Burger King font. Brought that into Procreate. Now I need to make this look like it's a huge nose with big nostrils. Okay, that looks crazy. <laughs> now I wanna make it look like snot is just absolutely flowing everywhere. Oh my gosh. Now I'm just gonna go in and add like little drips of snot just all over this thing. Now I need to pick a very snotty green and start coloring all of that in. I'm gonna go through here and add in some little like low lights and highlights to each one of these. 
just to really make it look a little more realistic, but also a little more grungy. Last, I'm gonna add some to the letters, and here is the final result. I love, love, love this revamp. It is so gross to even look at, but that's the point, right? Let me know what you think about this one in the comments. Whichever logo this filter lands on, I'm gonna give it a gross redesign. Okay, what's it gonna be? Ooh, Hello Kitty. Okay, let's go. Okay, so what I'm thinking is we make it say, hello, shitty, and then I kind of somehow recreate this logo, but make it look like a pile of poop. So the first thing I'm gonna do is kind of just get a rough outline of where I want the poop pile to go. I'm gonna turn it brown. And I'm gonna add in some smaller strokes just to give it a little bit more texture. Now I've added the Hello Kitty logo above it, turned the opacity down, and now I'm just gonna go over it and trace out all of those little elements that we need to add on. Now I need to erase the K and make it say hello shitty. Do you wanna add in some more gross details like some mold and some shading and here is the final result. This one is giving me exact vibes from when I did the Crapple logo redesign. I love how this one looks. It just looks so gross, but also still cute somehow, almost like the poop emoji. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. Whichever logo this filter lands on, I'm gonna give it a gross redesign. Okay, what's it gonna be? Ooh, Pizza Hut. All right, let's go. So what I'm thinking, if you pronounce it in like a British accent, Pizza Hot, Pizza Fought, and we make it say fart, and then make it look like, I don't know, a fart is coming out of it somehow. <laughs> so the first thing I'm gonna do is erase these letters and start writing in the letters that spell fart. Okay, there's what that's looking like. Now I'm just gonna trace around the Pizza Hut logo, and I'm gonna make it look like it's made of skin. <laughs> Then I'm gonna put just like a crack right here. So then I can add on a puff of like fart cloud. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna color it green and I'm gonna add some shading to the whole thing. Okay, now I'm just gonna add some kind of like lines to make it look smelly. Okay, that's looking crazy. My final thought is what if instead of it being solid black down here, we make the word fart look like a fart. So I'm gonna do all that and here is the final result. This one is just giving me almost like Nickelodeon slime vibes, but it is so funny and cute. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. Whichever logo this filter lands on, I'm gonna give it a gross redesign. Okay, what's it gonna be? <gasps> Toys R Us, <laughs> all right. Okay, so what I'm thinking is we name it Toys R Pus, and I can change all of these different letters to look like different skin tones and then have all of them have like boils and pimples and sores all over it. So the first thing I need to do is grab these letters, move them over, and then I can start writing in P-U-S-S. -S. Now that I've got that all drawn out, I'm just gonna change each of these to a different skin tone. Now that that's done, I'm just gonna go ahead and start adding in little pimples and boils. I feel like I need to make this star be like one giant boil. Like, yep, just like that. Now I'm gonna go through on each one of these and I just need to add on some kind of white or yellow head and here is the final result. This one is definitely one of the grosser ones I've done. It's just so detailed and I don't know. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. 